based on a certain requisition the purchasing function creates the purchase order which is communicated to the supplier the supplier accepts it and as per the appointment time creates the invoice um, and sends the material with the invoice to the buyer's facility nominated in the po and uh, as soon as the goods reach the buyer's facility the inward process starts and in this way the inward process that has been started is a proof of delivery or in other terms a proof that the contract um, has been executed by the supplier and now um, the buyer's clock uh, starts ticking for the payment cycle because um, the payment here uh, is generally x days after uh, receipt of materials or receipt of invoice whichever is later so since the material has been received and grn has been issued um the payment would have to be done x days 30 45 60 whatever it is x days after the generation of grn a thing here is that a grn generally confirms that the physical conditions of the material is what it should be and the count of the material is same as the count mentioned in the invoice because what happens sometimes the material needs some chemical test or some kind of test which take time to happen and uh, those inspections uh, we would not want a supplier to wait for confirmation uh, for the um, of those inspections so we issue a grn and then send the goods or a sample of those goods to inspection and um, post inspection if there is any problem we can always return create a return note and return the goods to the supplier again we these items or this process has to be mentioned in the po but um, the goods can always be returned even if grn has been created and the goods have been inverted so in, in in general most cases the grn is issued by the receiving department it could be the material stores or or some other department which the firm nominates but it is um, generally issued by them in some cases however um, the the goods are dispatched to a facility when there is no invoice department or especially in in sundry items or low value items like, like like office supplies they could be directly dispatched to the department in that case the department or the function which is the user is asked to validate um, the receipt and they would um, their that their validation would lead to the creation of the grn but again we don't have to always couple all kinds of inspection to grn we can keep them separate the grn should ideally clearly mention the delivery time because that would help us measure the timeliness of the supplier and when we analyze multiple suppliers and um, their efficacy we can use the time mentioned in grn um, to check if they have delivered as what was required of them Uh, and again uh, to create that audit trail and to ensure future analysis uh, the grn must mention um, the po number against which the invoice was issued a problem in manual processes here is that uh, when the goods re- reach the gate the invoice department uh, looks at the invoice and um, physically creates a new um, grn so what do they do is they take the invoice um, enter the invoice number manually and uh, from the invoice um, they manually enter the po number and and this does not have to be pen and paper it could be in a system but as you see there is data reentry <clears throat> and um, they might have a record of all the purchase orders so they go back to the record and check those purchase orders if this invoice is valid and there could be multiple problems in such manual disconnected processes number 1 um, unintegrated processes um number one is that uh, well there could be a typo uh, typing mistake in writing the invoice or the purchase order number two when the receiving function goes and looks at the purchase order well if it's the blanket po let's say for ordering 10 tons of material maybe um, 9 tons has already been exhausted and this is a new delivery of 3 tons but when they take a quick look at the purchase order they don't they are not able to see that this po is valid for only one more ton so such numerous errors happen um, when uh, we talk about pos and that is why it's important that um, the the system is automated so as soon as um, the goods are received there is a new invoice um, the invoice number could be scanned or entered 
uh, or or if there is an asn uh, advance shipping notice which the suppliers have sent it could be pulled up through that uh, and the po has to be automatically pulled up so that there is no discrepancy in the po numbers and so on and uh, the grn should be system generated the grn generally also always has the um, identification of the receiver and uh, copies um, of uh, grn th again here copies does not mean physical copies it could it's electronic copies it's intimation is sent to different departments it's user department to tell them that hey look guys we have received the material that you required um, it won't show up as raw material or as available material to issue because um, the inspection proce process is still due and so it's under inspection uh, and after the inspection is completed the material becomes available to issue uh, it's sent to account payable because um, the grn uh, triggers the finance and the payment process and um, they will have to start planning to pay in um, 30 days 45 days whatever and the materials stores or purchasing also receives intimation about the grn creation because uh, they would take that into their consideration for supplier fulfillment and and uh, contract uh, adherence or whatever process that the purchasing department has uh, to conduct um, and um, generally the grn is what creates the inspection note uh, so what we do is uh, whenever we create a purchase order which needs a specific type of inspection it is mentioned in the po so when an invoice is received against that po what, um, what wh while creating the grn automatically an inspection note is generated so what happens here is that the inward department are may not be technically skilled people and they may not understand that what kind of inspection every different uh, material needs so if we put that inspection idea or, or the inspection logic in the purchase order um, creation um, as soon as the goods comes and the grn is created the inward department is intimated that hey guys you know what this is what you need to do with the goods and send them uh, for dispatch but that is what um, grn is all about uh, we will talk about the three-way match and uh, complete our purchase to pay process in the next video.